your wedding day goes by so fast, you don't even have time to eat the meal you spent hours planning with your caterer. Finding the right photographer can preserve those special moments in time, so you have something to remind you of the big day forever. Kate Jones is with Kate Jones Studios. She specializes in capturing the details you'll be able to treasure for years to come. Welcome. What a fun job. It really is. You get to really capture all these really, <laughs> yeah. really great moments for people. Let's start off by talking about where your passion for photography stemmed from. I mean, really, I just kind of started. You needed an art class in college or in high school. So I started there, took as much as um, I could there. And then I went to college and I did pursue a different degree, but always came back to um, design and photography and then I just started second shooting with some friends who are already photographers worked with another photographer while I was in college and really just kind of grew from there was it always weddings and then you also do newborns and maternity things like that yeah. um, was it always this or did it start as something different um, it actually more started um, with weddings actually that was really where my interest was was peaked but um, it kind of grew into more and then I kind of scaled back and really learned um, to specialize in what I was truly passionate about. What is it that you love most about phot photographing weddings? Really just seeing people make one of the biggest commitments of their lives. I like seeing the interactions between families and um, newlyweds and I love the details. It's so much fun. That's actually my, my favorite part of photographing a wedding day is actually the details and creating a story um, starting off that way. And now when we started this segment, we saw on the TV that, it, that factoid about how an average day that you spend at a wedding is 10 hours. That's long. So, <laughs> I mean, are you pretty much doing this whole day? What does it look like? I mean, really, you just start out when the bride is typically finishing getting ready, and you kind of get her details there, getting the groom, getting his final touches on, bride getting dressed. Then you move into, like, a first look where they see each other before the wedding. Then you have all of the more formal pictures, the ones mom puts, you know, up over the, over the mantle. Um, and then ceremony, you move into more artistic and, and just a lot nicer photographs, more artistic things. Um, and then you go into your reception, fun, dancing, the whole thing. And so you're there from start to finish pretty yeah. much. <laughs> and here we're looking at some, and I see a lot of them are outdoors as well. Are mm -hmm. you seeing that more of a popular option these days is outdoor photography for weddings? I think so, yeah. Um, you know, a lot of my style is really filled with light. It's really um, deep, real colors. So what you're looking at is that natural light that you're finding um, just out, outdoors. And in South Dakota, you just kind of take the outdoors mm -hmm. as much as you can. Right, so. exactly. And now you mentioned just a little bit ago the first look. Mm -hmm. So this isn't really the traditional way. I mean, a lot of people um, back in the day would wait till they got to the aisle and they were walking down, and that's the first time you would see your bride. Exactly. But now there's this first look. So can you just kind of explain what that first look is? Really, the first look is a time for the only time of the day that a bride and groom is alone. So they take a minute, they see each other, and typically a groom isn't going to be... Um, he won't show his emotions as much as he normally would if there's a hundred people staring at him. So a bride really gets her groom's real true emotions and then they get a minute to be together when they will not be alone the rest of the day. So it just kind of gives a minute. What is it like being a part of these big days? Let's talk a little bit about, um, I just want to touch on, I know I was looking at some pictures on your website and you had some when a mother was doing a natural birth mm -hmm. and she was in water and it was incredible looking at these pictures. I mean. They were amazing. So what is it just like being a part of these moments? Well, I will say that I cry at every birth, whether I've known the mom forever or not. Um, I mean, really, these, these moments go by so quickly, and you're so wrapped up in what's happening that it's impossible to remember, remember all of the details. Um, so it's just nice for you know, dads to put the phone down, dads to be there, especially in a birth, and just to be real present. And then the mom gets all of that that she would probably have, have forgotten in the, you know, in the anticipation of the moment. All right, back to the weddings now. Um, tips to finding the right photographer. I mean, there's many to choose from. So yes. how do you kind of decide on this? I mean, really, the biggest thing for me is make sure it's somebody that you jive with. I mean, I will be spending the better part of a year, typically the full engagement with a bride, working with her to create a timeline, things like that. She's got to like me. And then <laughs> all day long, I'm, I'm following them around, and they have to make sure, again, that they really like me. So that's the biggest thing for sure. And now one of these is choosing a photographer that has the shooting style you like. So what would you say your shooting style is? 
Um, it's really full of color. Basically, the way I like to describe it is exactly as it was. I do, I do really minimal editing, but it's very best, like the perfect version of exactly what you see. Very colorful, full of light, um, and very emotional. You see a lot of people just interacting with one another rather than more traditional posed looking at the camera and smiling. And now you also blog. I was on your website and I was reading some of your blogs on the weddings you've done. So instead of just sharing your pictures, you write about it. Why did you decide to do that? A lot of times, the brides are do, well, most brides are doing this for the first time, and they've never done it before. So I think it's nice to have somebody else's perspective and a professional's perspective to help them through what can be pretty confusing. And now for weddings, this is something that you want to remember for the rest of your life. So why is it so important to you know, hire a photographer and have them capturing these moments? I mean, it's really important to find somebody with experience, find somebody that you can trust through the entire day, but it's really important just because it will go by so quickly. You think you spend a year coming up with all of these details and every little piece, but you're going you're gonna to forget it. You're going to forget the little things. So it's important to find somebody that you trust to get it all for you so you can you know, have it forever. What is your favorite part, real quick, about photographing weddings. I mean, is it these little details that you get to get or the group pictures? Um, probably the details or sunset portraits. That's definitely, it's where, you know, after the ceremony, the, the groom mostly is a lot more relaxed <laughs> and I they bet. can just be together and really soak in the moment of what they just did and really just love on each other, really. Yeah, sounds like such a fun job. It really is. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you.